Hey guys, it's Girza here for Funnelicious and today in this video, I'm going to talk to you about this huge mobile. No, this is a tablet. This huge tablet, the ASUS Zenfone 3 Ultra. ASUS has been introducing quite a lot of mobiles under the brand name uh, product line called uh, Zenfones and in the third iterations on the third generation of uh, Zenfone we have this uh, large tablet called the ASUS Zenfone 3 Ultra. So the design of this mobile is quite large. Okay, apart from the largeness of this design, uh, the back has the uh, volume buttons, volume controls, but the volume up and down are not distinctly separate. Uh, on the back also, we find the 23 megapixel camera with laser autofocus. Uh, we also find the dual tone flash along with the RGB color sensor. And we have the ASUS and Zenfone branding at the back. The back is predominantly plastic. It is a sealed unibody design. The battery is not removable. The sides of the mobile is uh, covered by metal. At the top, you have the 3.5 mm audio jack with a noise cancelling mic. At the bottom you have the speaker grills, USB type C port and a mic. And on the sides you have the power button and the uh, dual SIM card slots. It is sad to know that uh, Zenfone has not thought about the size of this mobile and they've given us a dedicated SD card. On the front you would find the 8 megapixel camera above the display along with the earpiece and the usual set of sensors. And the bottom you have the front facing fingerprint sensor and the usual Android navigation keys. The display is a 6.8 inch display and the display uh, supports 1080p resolution and I found the display to be really bright and very vivid with respect to color reproduction it is very natural as well uh, the display is good at direct sunlight it is readable and it is legible at all lighting conditions the tablet has got a 23 megapixel camera on the back the camera is supported by a dual tone LED flash and also a RGB color sensor to sense the uh, white balance in the light also this camera's focusing is supported by a technology called TriTech wherein uh, ASUS has combined in the uh, face detection autofocus, uh, laser autofocus to give you the best focusing speed possible. Focusing is perfect, accurate and fast as well. The mobile can click amazing pictures. When you have abundant light, the images out of this uh, mobile is very sharp and crisp. Uh, also, the uh, color reproduction is really good. The exposure levels, the brightness, the details, the sharpness, uh, the uh, contrast levels, everything is perfect about the images coming out of the camera when it is daylight. When the light starts dipping, the quality is still maintained. Even at totally dark light conditions, the images is really good. I was surprised by it. The mobile supports a mode called night mode or the night owl mode, uh, wherein uh, it kind of reduces the megapixel but makes sure that you capture the moment. The front facing camera is an 8 megapixel camera, though I find it really practically uh, impossible to click selfies just because of the sheer size of this mobile. It's not really easy to hold this mobile in one hand and click pictures. So uh, it's not really a great selfie experience, but the selfie camera is, is good. Uh, just like the rear camera, the quality of the pictures out of the selfie camera is also good. The mobile is, no, the tablet is powered by a Snapdragon 652 processor with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. This supports 4G Geo uh, Vivo LTE. It's got a fun fingerprint sensor and 3.5mm audio jack. That supports the hardware. Uh, with, with respect to real-time performance or the real day-to-day -day life performance, this tablet is really good. I tried putting in uh, loads of games in it. I played Asphalt, I played all the resource-intensive games in it. Uh, the mobile handled it with ease. It didn't stutter, it, it didn't drop even a single frame. It flew in smoothly. It uh, kind of, uh, uh, I was able to multitask very easily thanks to 4 GB of RAM. Um, with respect to performance, this is good. Even the uh, UI, the usually resource intensive Zen UI was handled with ease by this tablet. Uh, switching between apps or opening up a new app or closing any games was totally a smooth user experience. Talking about the UI, the mobile is running on Android 6.0.1 with Zen UI on top of it. UI is fast, snappy and it's highly functional. Though it is functional, it still has all those preloaded applications which we usually hate in all the ASUS phones. Uh, with respect to audio quality, I found the audio quality out of this tablet to be really good. This being a media consumption device, audio quality is very important. Uh, we also we already saw that the display is good at many angles. The display is really bright, vivid, and kind of pleasant experience. So if you are watching a movie or watching this YouTube uh, channel or if you're watching any other good YouTube uh, clips, 
uh, you would be uh, really thrilled with the audio experience that is coming out of uh, this uh, particular mobile. So this mobile has this Zen Ear S uh, earphones out of the box. I found this to be one of the best headphones that has ever been boxed in an Android mobile. Uh, I really love it. The mids, highs and lows are all separated. It's all clean audio experience. Uh, it's perfect. I can't believe that this is uh, sub thousand rupees headset. Yeah, you can really buy it off the market. If you're not interested in this mobile, at least you can go and buy this headset in the Amazon. I, I can leave the links below in the description. The mobile has a 4600 mAh battery. The battery can be fast charged. It has a USB Type-C port and the mobile comes with a fast charging adapter. Uh, it, it can charge from 10 to 80 percentage at about uh, two hours, which is really impressive. And considering that it's got a huge humongous 4600 mAh battery, this battery can also be used to charge another device. Uh, it, maybe if you're having a smartwatch or if you're having a Bluetooth headset or even a smaller phone, you can use this mobile to charge that device. Uh, to conclude my review, I would say that this is a, not a mobile this is predominantly a tablet and if you say if you are considering this as a tablet this is a fantastic tablet but it is overpriced it rupees 50,000 so I am ready to pay up to 40,000 for this but not anything more than that uh, it is a 652 processor it's not the high-end processor uh, but otherwise it's still a premium mobile with all the user experience everything best so I'm ready to pay around 40,000 for it but not 50,000. In total, it's a fantastic media consumption device. So if you are into a lot of uh, media consumption, if you are into reading, if you are into watching websites, if you are into uh, watching YouTube clips, this is a fantastic buy. And I hope Asus hears us and hears us loud so that they give us good uh, pricing options in the future. So this is my review of the ASUS Zenfone 3 Ultra and do let me know what you think about this. Uh, do like and comment and share this video and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, this is Giridhar signing off. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.